The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue, and Keezy. Back Monday at 4 on Radio Hodaki. Mm, I love you so much. We need to talk. I'm going out with the boys. Hey, babe, have we got anything on this weekend? Relationship advice with Jason Mike. I'm curious, Keezy, how does a frisky Keezy ask the question? Oh, it's, there's a lot of eyebrow action. Yeah. Right, okay. You know, like so, like, so she'll walk in and I've got one up. You know what I mean? And then she'll be oh, what, like... One eyebrow? One eyebrow, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. And then... Uh, <laughs> Do you stroke your mo? Yep, do that, and then eventually it's two up. Oh, and then <laughs> two up, yeah, 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 and then you just raise them a few times, and then the mo's the third one, basically, because it's like a third eyebrow. You oh, know? you so raise all, the mo up when all three are up. It's like, yeah, all right, it's go time. Yeah, good yeah, stuff, mate, good stuff. Good hey, a lot of a lot of texts here on three four eight three. <laughs> Uh, this is a good one, and I think, Mogi, you'd be good to answer this one. G'day, guys. My girlfriend thinks I should get laser treatment downstairs. Oh, oh yeah, this is totally Mogi's. Uh, I'm, I'm going to yeah, lob crack, that ball into your in, thing. Crack into it, that I say. I came to this very late. Um, Did you? You know, after um, you know many years of grooming downstairs, I know, Jace, you've just let it grow like a, a thick gorse down there. Yeah, it's a thicket down there, Mogi. Yeah. Well, actually, it's not. It's, yeah, it's a disgusting not. mess down there. But that, that's all good, brother. Um, I'm not a hero guy, a, maybe, uh, I've always been know? a groomer. Um, so, you know, just to, just to sort of make an effort, I think, Keezy, and I think you probably do the same, mate. You'd trim it back a bit, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, good on you, mate. Um, but what I was finding was I get a bit overdoing it, to be completely honest with you. And so I started doing the old laser treatment, and they do the old pole creepers because it's, it's like um, King Kong's thumb. Sure. Um, and the bullos, and sort of around the bikini area there. And I was actually going there every four weeks. So I'm about five weeks in of a 10 week sort of session. You here. see, that's what gets me 10 sessions. Yeah, 10 sessions. Each session takes about 40 seconds. So it's not. Why don't uh, they just not, do it in one session? Because that's not how it works, Joe. So I don't create this science around it. You know, I've got to go in there 10 times. I'm not, And I can tell you what, it's not because they want to see my downstairs 10 times. They're always gutted when I walk through the door, I'll tell you that. Gutted. Do they? <laughs> I'm just thinking ka-ching, ka-ching, ten oh, times. No, it's a bargain. It's a bargain. Um, so anyway, they're blasting away there. She was blasting away at me yesterday, and uh, it was a bit more painful than usual, and um, I was effing and jeffing, actually, which I hadn't done Seriously? before. But, well, she turned up the volume on it. Right. So the laser oh, was pretty audio-wise. powerful. So it was, um, I was effing and jeffing, she was cracking up. She thought it was real funny. Um, but, yeah, it was good. It was about quarter past nine in the morning. Better than a cup of coffee, I tell you what. I was, I'm picturing... It wakes you right up. I can wakes imagine, you mate. right up. And but I, yeah, you're not in there for long, and smooth as. Right. Yeah. I, I highly recommend it. But you've still I got all the tummy it. pubes. Remember that photo on Instagram? Yeah, 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 no, yeah that's I've got I've got the tummy pubes. Yeah, sure. cool. Um, and I've got a little um, hat on top of my downstairs. Yeah, nice, man. That's yeah. cool. Sort yeah, of like... Yeah. He looks a little bit like old mate, the lead singer from T-Rex. I don't know what to picture here. Oh, you don't know mm. him? No. Uh, who else would there be? Is there a smell of... <laughs> yeah, burning, burning flesh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, yeah, right. that's a unique smell. Oh, I, it is. I'm picturing the scene in James Bond, the Sean Connery one, when the laser he's strapped to the table and the laser's slowly coming up between his legs. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm picturing, yeah. Yeah. That's and how that, but it's me lying on the yeah. table, and I'm naked, Yeah, I, and it's yeah, just I get me it. with my downstairs yeah, no, I, yeah, and yeah, my you, you, pubic yeah, tummy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that, that's how I go about it. I do do some care do, down do, there. Do. And, and what it is, it's just a once yearly bushfire. Right, yeah, and just drop just, a match down the yeah, front of the Yeah, and bastard. burn it all away, and yeah. then it's just gross. <laughs> yeah. And it's fine. Like I say, I'm not, I'm not a hairy guy, so it's not massive. Right. No, I've heard it's not massive. Well, we've, my, no, my bush. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, well, look, we've talked at length for this one. We've got one last question. Uh, hey, guys, should I have kids? Ooh. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, there you go. That's oh, it. Have heaps. Yeah. You can't have too many. Right. Totally, man. Are you guys being sarcastic? Huh? The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. <laughs> With Jason Mike.
Yeah, man. How good. Yeah, so good. We were just having a bit of gerbil chat, weren't we, fellas? Yeah, yeah. A bit of gerbil chat. Um, frozen gerbils. Back in the day. Hey, keep those ticks coming in on 3483, by the good way. Eating. Yeah, oh, yeah. But you do have to freeze them because they go off quick. Oh, they do. Oh, yeah. do you eat gerbils? Yeah, totally, man. Oh, wow. I thought they were just pets. Uh, a lot of good ticks coming in on 3483. Hey, guys, I got my dog to babysit my kids, but then he took the pizza money and used it for booze. How can I stop him from doing this sort of thing? Cheers. Uh, every now and then, one of these sneaks through, Keezy. Mm. Um, dogs are not going to steal your money and buy piss. Right. Um, Siggies, sure. Oh, really? Yeah. Meth, absolutely. Gunja. Gunja. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it sounds to me like your kids are alcoholics and they've blamed the dog. Yeah. Right. That would be my pick, actually. Because there's a lot of alcoholic kids out there at the moment. Oh, man. massively so. Yeah. <laughs> so true. Oh, by the way, remember that guy who was going to paint the pigeons and sell them as doves? Yes. Oh, I remember that guy, yeah. Uh, but then you were saying that they might die, etc. and when you release them at the wedding, someone here says you could attach them to helium balloons. Oh, yeah, it's true. So but that, once again, Sorry, a string though, from yeah, them and then around their neck. Yeah, wow. but it, it's a lot of admin. You know what I mean? Depends on the overheads and the profits and all that sort of well, stuff. Well, exactly. Someone here saying you can the bleach The overhead would them. be a dead dove with a helium balloon stuck on it. Because it would be overhead? Yeah, yeah. yeah nice. Yeah, yes. nice. Uh, you could bleach the pigeon instead Again, of painting it's it. a dying issue. I think we can move on from this one. It's not a go. I've explored every avenue. All right. Uh, g'day, guys. I have three pet rabbits that are all due for a warrant. Uh, the only issue is my bicycle only fits two at a time. <sighs> Again, they're not due for a warrant. They're due for a warrant. Oh, rabbit warrant. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's yeah. a typo there, Keezy. Oh, that's that would warrant. Um, yeah, yeah, Otherwise, yeah. you know, if it was what he was actually saying, you could just get a little saddle yeah. on the, on your bike there. Or I've got, for my bike, uh, a little basket in the front yeah. for all my veggies and or stuff actually, like that. Actually, what I'm you'll find is... Wheeling home from the market. And rabbits love it um, because they've got the wheels in their cages, or their hutches, yes. oftentimes. You can actually just jam them in the spokes. Spokes, yeah, yeah. And they'll sit there quite comfortably. And then the in their spoke. And the, yeah, and then the, as you're riding your bicycle there, the centrifugal force will keep them in place. Also, what right. you'll find too, you can find you know on your bike there, you'll often have a little uh, stand at the back. For a, a kick, kickstand, a kick, well, not a kickstand, nah, but for like the papers, a, for your newspapers, for your newspapers and stuff. It's like a little hinge. Your carrier, right. it's called. Your carrier. So yeah. thank you, Muggy, and you just shove them in there and put the hinge down. Yeah, yeah either the hinge or you need one of those stretchy bastards with the hooks oh, on it. Yeah, 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 nice yeah. bungee cord. Bungee, yeah. But right. I think he was meaning Warren, Rabbit Warren. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, right. Rabbit what, Rabbit Warrant is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't make sense. Uh, here's the last one on three four eight three. G'day guys. My cat licks its bum and then comes to lick me, and then I chase him away. However, in the morning, I wake up and my face is wet and slimy. Is this prick doing it as a joke? Cheers. Well, it wouldn't surprise me. We've talked often about cats, haven't we, Mogi? Uh, selfish, narcissistic little mm. bastards, and and evil too. However, great senses of humour. They are very good senses of humour. Lo- they love a prank. Right, I thought blue healers were the ones that like. Pranks. Oh, they like a prank as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but cats, they sort of uh, they beat them all, really, don't they? Mm. Um, what's he done there? Uh, basically, he'd intentionally lick his ass and then quickly run over and try lick her, and then yeah. she wakes up in the morning and her face is wet. Oh, is it a she? Yeah, the late. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It might be urine. Could be. Yeah. He could so you might be the doing old, the old um, water spray. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, you know oh, the right. funny thing about cats too. You know, human beings get obsessed by like cat videos. Cat, oh, on the internet, yeah, yeah, yeah. Them, yeah. Cats love videos of like cats hitting humans, bullos and stuff like that. Oh yeah. wow, yeah, they watch, yeah, or well, spraying them when they're asleep, yeah. etc., or licking them after. So you think yeah. the cat yeah, might yeah. be filming itself doing it and then trying to go viral? It's probably got a really popular YouTube channel. I'd oh, say so. Yeah. Yeah, 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 big Insta following. Yeah. Oh, well, that's great, guys. Uh, and thanks for all the texts on 3483. We'll do this again next week, same time. Great stuff, mate. Oh, one more tune in the countdown for the day, fellas. And oh, my God, it's a tune, all right? The Hodaki Big Show podcast. Catch them weekdays from 4 on Radio Hodaki. Yes, indeed, Red Hot Chili Peppers there on the Radio Hodaki Big Show this Tuesday afternoon, 31 minutes past 5 o'clock. That's the end of the countdown today, but do not despair. 
because there's going to be a full replay of the countdown from 7 o'clock onwards tonight, How fellas. Good. That's How right. Good. I'm preparing show. Of course, uh, song 699, that will be happening 8.30am tomorrow, Matt and Jerry show. And a lot of text people being like, yo, when are we giving away those 90 vinyl? It'll be yeah. next, Thursday next Thursday at the end of the countdown. And yeah. also, I just want to get a gauge out there, which we kind of haven't done, fellas. Uh, how are people finding the countdown on 3483? Are they into it? My vibe is that they would be. Uh, well, the latest text is, Hey guys, my greyhound is massively addicted to speed. Any help? Yeah, it's, so it's not, not related. Not, it's no, not a lot to not, go it's on. It's not the so. same thing, no. Yeah, yeah no, but no. let us know your thoughts. Yeah. Hey, um, I just wanted to get your advice on something, fellas. I had a bit of a... Um, I don't know what's going on with my neighbours. Oh, bit of a... I've got, like, weird neighbours, I think. You always have issues, eh? Well, you know, but I think you everybody guy, does. You know, shitting on your car from the tree there and well, stuff. yeah. That was the least of it, wouldn't it? But I've been going out to my, uh, my car every day. We take the kid there down to uh, daycare. They sort of, it's a place where they have teachers, Keezy, and there's other kids there. Not related to her, but there's heaps of them. Oh, no, unre- they oh, sort yeah. of stay there all day. Day- daycare, I guess you call oh. it, something like that. Care yeah, for them yeah. for the day. Oh, wow. And every day I come out, sort of look over the road there, and uh, um, there's this fellow lives over there. He's never introduced himself. I see him walking around the joint. I say good day. He doesn't say anything. I don't like that. Someone says Same. g'day, you should say g'day, me. or something similar, Keezy, like hello, kia ora, what about- talofa. Oh, hey, man. Yeah, hey, man, that's fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, I'm looking over there, and um, he's he's sort of, like, you can see that the curtain's a little moving a little bit. Yes. And um, so you sort of, that sort of draws the attention, sort of like, um, oh, sort of like a fly with your fly fish in there. And then next thing you know, the douche, the curtains have whipped open and he's standing there stark bollock naked. Oh, wow. Facing me. So, you know, there's that sort of that old thing of the, the flashes that have the jacket and they... F- oh, the trench coat. Yeah, 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 with all the pockets. It's like that, yeah. but with curtains. Yes. He's on the, and then he closes them up again. Then, he, ah, he's up again. Uh, closes them. Right. Um, anyway, I don't like it a lot. I mean, it's all right, but I'm getting a bit over it. And it's, he never spices it up. It's well, always the same thing. When you're dropping your daughter off at daycare. No, no, I'm, put, I'm loading her into the car. Oh, okay, yeah, And the yeah, missus yeah. will be okay, out there. She's on, she's on the front porch with us waving goodbye. Sure, sure. To his credit, he waits till the kid's in the car. Yeah, yeah, good. Oh, okay. good, good. Um, and it's just, it just, I don't know, he's just sort of, you know, I don't know if that's appropriate behaviour for a neighbour. Look, I, I don't want to... I, I have to ask, yeah. when he's doing this, is he... No, nah, he's not. Okay. No, he's not at all. Yeah. So it just feels like it might be a power trip or... Sure. Uh, can, can I... I just... I know that you and your wife... Oh, that's right, yeah. You like to make love and... With the curtains open. With the open. curtains open. Oh, and, I, yeah. and I wonder if it's a reciprocal type scenario there and he's maybe a bit... Excited by what he sees he's not there, that he's going, excited. "Hello, here I am." It's not that ex- he doesn't seem to be that excited, right? Okay. Why do you uh, keep asking? It's sort of, a, it's sort of a nothing. You know, it's not really doing anything. It's not on the same level of what we're delivering production-wise. Sure, yeah, yeah. You know, um, well, yeah. you've got cameras and lighting. To be fair, though, so well, it's less the cameras, definitely the lighting, um, costumes, etc., etc. Yeah, right. um, and it's every snacks. day. Every day snacks he does a hand of that. Snacks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyway, I ran into him um, up at the dairy, and I just sort of cornered him over there by the uh, the vapes and that because they've got a little vape booth in there, and I just sort of pressed him up against the wall there. I said, "What's the guts, man? What's the guts with you flashing me every day? I come out there." Taking my kid to school, the missus waving me goodbye, and you're flashing me every day. What's the guts? And it turns out it was a misunderstanding because he wasn't flashing me; he was flashing my wife. Oh, oh yeah. But hang on, yeah, isn't yeah. that still isn't that worse? You know what I mean? Oh. And so, because he's not flashing you, it's all good. Basically, it's not your issue. I think. Shit, I hadn't thought about it like yeah. that. That dirty bastard yeah, flashing man. my wife. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? Because it is weird. You you have. Your reaction to a dude flashing, and yet you know I've got my neighbours going hammer and tongs. Yeah, with the curtains open. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Well, the hammer and tongs, sure. Yeah, but just a straight flashing. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. you got to put a bit of effort into yeah, it. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah, fair enough. Step mate. it up, brother. So anyway, I'm coaching him. The Hodaki Big Show weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Yeah, and welcome back, you mad bastards. I tell you what, we've been inundated. A lot of people struggling out there, Mogi. That's true, man. You know what I mean? Three, just four, eight, have, three. Man. Someone's just texted in wanting to know if 
his partner is truly enjoying sex. But in my opinion, you got to stop worrying about that, man. It's it's not in your hands, brother. Well, kind of. Nah. It takes two to ten. When it comes to that, man, my advice is mind your business. Right. Yeah. Right. Numero uno. Uh, here's a great question. Came through on the Insta. Phone sex, yes or no? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. As long as it's a random number. Totally. Oh. Yeah, so yeah, you just yeah. pick up the phone and you go, oh, six, you know. And you never know who you're going to get. Yeah, right. You meet the loveliest people. Totally. And uh, I often actually answer my answer my calls with heavy breathing. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Just to, just to see if they're willing to go down that direction yeah, yeah, or not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you ever had phone sex, Keezy? No. Oh, man, you're missing out. No, well, there's sexting was a thing, like... Back in the early oh, 2000s. Oh, yeah, you probably had, still got as it on your phone yeah, still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you text through like... Up to. Bracket, space, full stop, space, close bracket. Yeah. And then oh. that again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I'd send back eight equals, 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 yeah, equals. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah, equals gotcha. capital D. Capital D. Yeah, so that was pretty so sweet. Good. Capital D for so D. Good. Exactly. Uh, actually, we got a really nice question here from a bloke called Jesse. <laughs> what? Jesse Ventura, the wrestler. Yep. I like one of the girls I've recently started working with, but I just can't make a good impression on her. She just has so much confidence that it somehow makes me have none. How can I overcome this and stop looking like an absolute loser every time we work together? Here's the funny thing about this, Moby. Sweaty palms, you know know, We used to often talk about how old Hoity J didn't have much luck back in his day. You said you had absolutely no game. Yeah. An um, absolute loser, you said. But you know what I've subsequently learned... What I've subsequently learnt, and uh, so many women from my past have come up to me, you know, and down the line and gone, God, I was so into you, Hoity J, but yeah. you were so confident and stuff, I I just was intimidated, and oh, I, wow. just, I just didn't know how to approach but you, you know what I mean? Um, and, you know, it's funny, you know, because I, I have a different sort of, sort of take on it, but actually... When I look back, yeah, I was pretty... I was a smooth bastard. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was pretty cool. And I can see now how women would have been intimidated by my confidence, by my jokes, but, by... Go no, on, I'm Keith. not going to say by your honker because we put that to bed, right? Yeah, so that's yeah, in bed okay. That's in bed. Wow. But can I just ask you, Jace, just when you read this message, what's the age, the vibe that you're getting? Oh, from that message. Um, I've I'm, got a number in my head. I'm thinking like 25. Oh, yeah. I, I'm thinking... Late teens, early 20s. Yeah, 23, I reckon, for me. Yeah, yeah. And the problem that you've got there, now this is a generalisation, but in my experience, women in their 20s want a bad boy. Right. Oh, a yeah, bad boy. Yeah, absolutely. That's why, you know, you and I used to have leather jackets and holes in our jeans and the winkle pickers and the long trench coat. Yeah, yeah. And the, the goatees the and smoking rolled durries. Up, yeah, rolled that's up right. The arm there. That's right. So they're looking to make a few mistakes. So. You can either wait until they're in their 30s and they want to get married. Right. Or you can be Mr. Cool Guy now. And Jay said, you always, you said to me, the quickest way to a woman's heart is always through being aloof and acting like you don't care. And oats, every, so mate, oats. At work, if she, every time she brings something up, just go, whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> whatever. So cool. And she'll start, she'll be confused. The next thing you know, she'll fall in love with you. Nice. Totally, man. Totally. Or, or you can or, ask her or, out. Yeah, you know, or you can ask her out. Or, you know, if she talks to you, say, sorry, I'm busy at the moment. Yeah, do you mind? Ask her what she does for a crust and then call her a backbone. backbone. Yeah, yeah. That works. She'd love there. that. Uh, one last question, fellas. Uh, this is from Nathan. The missus really wants me to give up the vapes, fellas, but I really don't want to. Vapes are my whole life. Cheers. What flavour vape is he rolling? Yeah, does he, does he specify oh, the flavour of the vape? Oh, no. well, it depends what he's running, really. What, so flavour-wise, if it's a good enough flavour, you'd say just leave her? Oh, no, I'd say just leave her anyway. I mean, oh, you've got to right. make some tough choices in your life. I'm just I'm, interested to know. I just, um, I'd go vape every day. Right. Yeah. <laughs> can, I, can you imagine someone trying to get me to give up the durries? I'd, I'd like to see that. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Actually, I am thinking of giving up the durries. 
That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. Keep it up, man. Yeah, man. Nah. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> it's Fresh Bird, man. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Oh, Queens of the Stone Age there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this uh, Wednesday afternoon, 29 minutes past 5 o'clock. God, it flies, doesn't it? The old time there, fella. <laughs> totally, Jase. Um, hey, fellas. You know, remember like two months ago I had to do stand up? Stand up comedy? No. Nah. Nah. What? But you guys stitched me up and forced me to do it, and then you came to it and said it was okay. I can't remember what we did on the podcast today, let alone two months ago. Fair oh, point, mate. But that sounds good. How did yeah, it go? Yeah, how did it go? Was it good? Yeah, good. I did heaps of puns. Oh, good. Uh-huh. Um, anyway, since then, I've been asked to do a few stand-up gigs, and I said no to a couple of them, and sure. a few things didn't wow. work out. And, I, hang what? On, hang on. What do you mean you were asked? Who asked you? Oh, various. Your family and stuff. No, not my family. Like comedians. Like that. kids' parties and stuff. No. Like drunk guys going, come on, Teasy, tell us another joke. Of, yeah, do like, some yeah, puns, well, Keezy. Just tell me your yeah, puns. Have a busy day, Keezy. Um, and I've decided basically whenever someone asks me to do it now, I'm going to say yes, just to oh, force yeah. myself to do it. You can know? I just clarify too, if you're going to do that, can you do that through me, please? What's that? Well, if there's any payment involved, I need to know. Oh, no, Jace, don't worry. It's all... Free. Oh, amateur. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So wow. don't, don't worry about Thank that. Thank God fella. for that. Yeah, don't even worry about it. Um, so I've been asked to do another stand up gig. It's uh, Corey Gonzalez, McCure, and Friends. It's happening at Ponsonby Social Club Thursday, the 31st of August, which is next Thursday. I have worked on my material because last time I did a few jokes. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's just like 20 minutes of puns. Yeah, and so I've worked on some new stuff. Yeah. And I'm just wondering um, if I could sort of test it on you guys and you let me know how it goes. Yeah, it's easy. All right, so uh, let me just get some ambiance. Because this is at a bar, this one. Oh, another role play. Yeah, yeah, so. God, it's pretty loud. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm hoping they'll turn the music off when I um, when I get up there to do it. Oh, g'day, everyone. My name's Keezy. Um, do you want a beer, Jace? Might as well go no, get a beer on. while this no, loses guys. on. No, that'd be good, man. All right, what are you having, man? Uh, guys, hey, down in front. Old Misty. Old Misty, good yeah, on you, mate. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Very Actually, Mogi, yeah. hang on. Yeah. Wait, um, you want me to get that, mate, because you got the last round. Well, I'll get this one, mate. Oh, as oh, I say, guys. man, I don't really want to see this guy, so. No, yeah, no, yeah, give yeah, him yeah. a chance. Give well, him a chance. Well, let's go, let's go out and have a durry. Oh, can, oh, yeah, let's go and have a durry. Yeah, right. And then we'll come back okay. when Corey comes on. All right, All right. cool. I'll see you fellas later. Thank God for that. Um, oh, guys, I was spent some time as like a blackjack dealer in a casino. One day, got to work. Someone had glued all my cards together. <laughs> I just couldn't deal with it. Oh, um, oh man, I was driving the other day in the Auckland traffic and bloody uh, pig was driving a car in front of me. It was terrible. He kept hogging the road. So what do you guys think? Oh, sorry, man. We yeah. were outside having a day. Yeah, we were having a day. Oh, I know. Day, the, yeah, I know. Yeah, in the yeah, sort of yeah, the yeah, little yeah. scene we did, but like you heard it, though. When does Corey come on? <laughs> the Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue, and Keezy. Back Monday at 4 on Radio Hodaki.